Lord, while I'm on this tedious journey, Lord, I want to with you guide me. I believe if Sam Cook was here today, he'd be saying, Oh, Lord, while I'm on this tedious journey, oh, I wonder will you guide me, Lord, while I'm on this tedious journey, oh, I wonder would you guide me. Oh, take me by my hand and lead me on. Well, y'all remember that? Brother Sam Cook. Woo! Brother Sam. Uh, um, we don't even want to go there. Uh, I, I, I want to um talk about something today that really, really um, challenge me to challenge you up under my voice. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my illustrious family. How y'all doing? I love y'all. How y'all doing? Welcome to this damn place I call the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, now y'all know that I consider, and I know that I'm ADOS. I know that I'm an American descendant of slavery. I know this. Okay? And not only do I agree with that notion that we need to deal with our lineage, I got no problem with that because everybody all over the world does that except Adolf. In fact, when we stand up in a way that is, uh, you know, unexpected, unparalleled, then that's what gets people to stand up and take notice, but they expect the same old thing. And that's why I know that the the fight for reparations is great. And I agree I agree that we are owed reparations. And I don't want to have anybody mistake my conversation. But what I see is a bigger problem is Personally, the qualified immunity piece in America that allows in police officers to shoot us down, to be legalized killers in our already disenfranchised community and nothing is done about it. And then you got a crazy man sitting up here talking about, I'll do away with uh, qu- uh, qualified immunity I mean, in other words, I mean, everybody would be qualified. In other words, he will never agree that an officer should be prosecuted. He didn't already told you with his mouth, what more do you need, right? So with that being said, common sense, well, my common sense tells me I don't want him anywhere near a seat of power. And every time I see some person that is an ADOS individual, that know they have this history of chattel slavery. You know, I don't want to hear, oh, yeah, we all been enslaved. We are none. There was no other chattel slavery inflicted upon the inhabitants of Africa like it was in um, maybe the Caribbeans and more likely the, the United States, Britain. These, America had... A, a kind of system that was so brutal that nobody can deny it. And I'd be sitting up here wasting my time to try to defend it and even explain how madness it uh, it 
was and is. And when someone says something so ridiculous as you wasn't there, have you ever heard of cellular memory? Because if you haven't, then you're not as educated as you think you are. Because if you don't know what cellular memory me, cellular memory is and just how much we passed on the trauma from you overseers and masses and, uh, you know, just the periods of atrocities that have, and abuse that you put us through, I can't understand why anybody think anything would take president over stopping that type of shit. I personally don't. I'm not saying reparations is not important. But knowing we've been burnt at the stake, knowing we've been hung from, knowing that all of these atrocities that have happened to us as a group of people, we would think that it's, it don't mean nothing to have the police to stop killing us. And that we've been geared up to figure out, well, it's been happening to us anyway. We just accept that. And then every time it happened, it's like my friends say, March time, March, March time, March. That's all the shits is going to go down. And it's getting so repetitive and it's getting so crazy that somebody got to shake this phenomenon up. It's like how you have to redirect the brain because the brain is on uh, repeat, 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 loop, 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 loop. That's what's going to have to have to happen with this getting out there and marching every time something happens and we're not marching straight to uh, legislation to stop this shit. Every single day, oh, every day, it's a fight. In the morning, it's a fight. In the evening, it's a fight. And don't nothing make it right. Every day. And we want to do something every four years. We should be on our city government, our legislative, our Congress people, our aldermen, to stop these people from killing us. They walk into our homes and kill the fuck out of us. And you don't think that that's not the most important thing that could happen that needs to stop right now? I ain't even think about no damn reparation because if I'm dead, I can't dead men don't spend no money. And I ain't that crazy that I will put money over of the value of somebody's life. So that's where I'm at with the reparations piece. I think the bigger, more pressing issue for descendants of slaves is to stop allowing Patty rollers, police departments, oh, is that what they call now? Sheriff's department to kill us at wholesale and nothing is done. Oh, maybe something might be done if it's real, 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 real egregious like Derek Chauvin sitting there choking the life out of somebody right on TV for the world to see. And then it got good to him where he dig down a little more. Y'all remember how he did George Floyd? That's what made everybody understand that this was a human family because everybody felt that pain. And once you come, when you break the, the, your brain from the loop and you see the madness, you have to stand up. Regardless of your color, regardless of your religion, regardless... As a human being, as part of a human family, you'd be like, what? This man just got executed on TV. I felt it. I felt every squoze and squeeze that Chauvin tried to do. That's what was out there. I'm from Wisconsin. So when you saw what happened in Kenosha, 
right after that, not too much further then, and you saw a riot. The the people that were defending that Kyle, Kyle Rittenhouse shot and killed were white, in case you didn't know. Some things is just beyond the color of a situation. So since they want to keep killing us based on color, and I'm not saying that there's issues where the police um, are man, um, have to do their jobs. Don't even come with that because I get it. They're, I'm not saying the police is not needed because the more evolved the society is, is the less they lead, uh, need policing. We're not evolved like that. We're not civilized like that. I remember going to the Bahamas at one time and no police had guns. They had the little sticks. Like in England, they don't care. I think that in London, they still don't carry guns, if I recall. I don't know. Haven't been in a while. But I know that they don't carry guns. Or they didn't because the society was a little more... Uh, I'm self-compliant. They had self-control. But when you don't have any control of yourself, then you have to be policed in certain instances. Now, what happens is you got a society that's created on this black and white phenomena, and most people have predisposed and, and pre-judgment, um, prejudice against us, then a lot of times... You, you see why we get the result we get. So, to me, there's nothing more important than qualified to uh, immunity. That's, that's got to be dealt with and it's got to be done away with. It's no longer, it's archaic and it's outdated. And nobody should have a license to kill us like that. And, and, and let me say this before I close. Any one of you black men, Teddy Riley, me and I used to look, used to laugh and crack up and um, uh, actually support them. That I don't, when I know how they mind work as men, I wouldn't, I, I, I just feel sorry for the ignorant ass women that's with them. When you see somebody that say, because I voted for Donald Trump because he let my friend out of jail. Look how selfish that is. Uh, Teddy Riley, when he said that, oh, that hurt me to my heart. Because that's my... Don't leave me, baby. Please stay with me tonight. Now, from a musician point of view and a standpoint, I love Teddy uh, Riley. But as a man... I see who he is, and I, I, I'm I, like, dude, you ain't shit to say something like that, if allegedly, if that's what you said. Okay? If I heard that right. you And then, so you're mad they kicked you out of the uh, uh, place because you figured you was a Republican too now. Now you're bigger than, bigger than and better than the masses of your people. Unfortunately... No matter what you do, you'll never, ever, ever, in their minds, because the program, the die has been cast. So what you have to do is be like, okay, if this is what you want, the first thing you're going to stop doing is killing us. That's the first thing. Shooting us down on the streets. That has to be a priority. Now, if it's not, it just reminds me of... Willie Lynch famous quote that you don't got to worry about them if you implement this socially social engineering plan that I got for you. They'll be perpetually miserable. Listen to that, how deep that is. Perpetually miserable for not 100 years, 500 years, for a lifetime. They'll never get out of the conditioning. And by God, I believe that boy was right. Because you have some people that are cut off their nose and spite their face. And they would actually tell you, 
a man that don't care if they get shot down on the street. He don't give a damn what the circumstances is. He will pardon the person. And you got the nerve to say, I'll vote for somebody like that? I don't care what it is. I, and you'll vote for somebody like that? Uh-uh. I can't respect you. I don't really care for you and your or your thoughts. So I know that you almost like somebody that's interfering with the future of me and mine. So I got to look at you funny. <laughs> we got to run you cat raggedy. <laughs> but anyway, I thought I'd say that, and I thought I'd leave that rant for the day. How about it, family? What y'all think about it? Reparations or doing away with qualified immunity? Which is more important to you right now? For you, What is more important to you? Some reparations, because I want to know where your head at, where your mind at. Reparations or qualified immunity being flushed down the toilet, down the drain. Let me know. Okay? All right. With that being said, I want to leave you with that. And hope y'all really answer me honestly. Share the video. Share the video with a friend. So they can be asked the same question. And see what their response will be. Because. We are so far apart in our thoughts. And you know. Who's black? Who black? <laughs> Why y'all messing with me? A black woman. Who is in power. Let me get off here. I'm tripping. All right. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. I'll see you in the next video.